and welcome to History Pod. On the 26th of April 1937, the Basque town of Guernica experienced what is seen by many as the first large scale modern air raid against a civilian population. By the spring of 1937, Guernica was just 30 kilometres away from the frontline fighting of the Spanish Civil War and lay within the focal area for the Nationalist Army's advance on the city of Bilbao. Guernica town was also a Republican communication centre and was the location of a small weapons factory. Documents released in the 1970s show that the attack on Guernica was part of a larger nationalist strategy in the north in which roads and bridges would be destroyed in order to upset Republican troop movements. Historians have noted that, despite its part in the wider nationalist plan, the level of destruction wrought on the town was disproportionate to Guernica's strategic value. Five waves of bombers initially attacked Guernica over a period of 90 minutes. Further waves came in the early evening, along with a number of fighter planes that strafed the roads leading out of the devastated town, increasing the death toll as people tried to escape the burning ruins. The number of civilian casualties resulting from the attack has never been fully determined, although figures in excess of a thousand that were cited until the 1980s are suspected to have been exaggerated. Historians now generally accept that up to 300 civilians were killed directly in the bombing, although it's likely that many more, perhaps as many as 1,700, died from their injuries. 